the most infamous personal losses on the stock market. The stock market has long been a source of both opportunity and risk for investors. While it has the potential to generate significant wealth, it can also lead to significant losses, as numerous investors have learned the hard way. In this video, we will take a look at some of the biggest personal losses in stock market history, exploring the stories behind these investors and the lessons that can be learned from their experiences. One of the most infamous examples of a personal stock market loss is that of Baron Rothschild, a member of the famous Rothschild banking family. In the early 19th century, Rothschild made a series of bad investments in the South Sea Company, a British joint stock company that was established to trade with South America and the South Seas. The company's stock price soared in the early 1820s, but eventually crashed, leading to significant losses for Rothschild and other investors. Another notable example of a personal stock market loss is that of Jesse Livermore, a well-known stock speculator and author of the book, How to Trade in Stocks. Livermore made a fortune during the early 20th century by betting on the direction of the stock market, but he eventually lost it all in a series of bad trades. In 1940, he committed suicide after suffering significant losses in the stock market. One more example of a personal stock market loss is that of Nick Leeson, a former derivatives trader who was responsible for the collapse of Barings Bank, one of the oldest and most respected financial institutions in the world. Leeson made a series of risky trades on the Singapore International Monetary Exchange, which eventually led to the bank's bankruptcy and his own imprisonment. There are also numerous examples of personal stock market losses that have occurred more recently. For example, in the late 1990s, many individual investors lost significant sums of money in the dot-com bubble, which saw the stock prices of many internet-based companies soar to unrealistic levels before crashing back down to earth. Similarly, in the early 2000s, many investors lost money in the housing bubble, which was fueled by the availability of easy credit and the belief that housing prices would continue to rise indefinitely. There are several lessons that can be learned from these examples of personal stock market losses. One is the importance of diversification, which refers to the practice of spreading one's investments across a range of different assets in order to minimize risk. This can help to protect against the losses that can result from a sudden drop in the value of a single stock or asset class. Another important lesson is the importance of thorough research and due diligence. This includes understanding the risks and potential rewards of any investment, as well as staying informed about market conditions and the performance of individual stocks. It is also important for investors to manage their emotions, particularly fear and greed, which can lead to impulsive and poorly informed decisions. This includes developing a clear investment strategy and sticking to it, rather than letting emotions dictate one's actions. Finally, it is important for investors to be aware of the potential for fraud and other types of financial misconduct, which can lead to significant losses. This includes being cautious about investing in companies or individuals with a history of unethical behavior, and being wary of any investment opportunity that seems too good to be true. In conclusion, the stock market has the potential to generate significant wealth, but it can also lead to significant losses. By diversifying their investments, conducting thorough research, managing their emotions, and being aware of potential fraud, investors can minimize their risk and increase their chances of success in the stock market. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, see you on the next one.